we'll be live with both Democrats and Republicans tonight during our special campaign coverage. Another one of the most closely watched races, U.S. House District 3. Republican incumbent David Young and Democratic challenger Cindy Axney. We caught up with Young as he voted in his hometown of Van Meter this morning. He says he forgot to change his clock for daylight saving, but thankfully still got up in time to head to the polls. Young says he's anxious but ready for tonight, and he has a message for voters. Be passionate about what you believe in and who you believe in and the issues that are important to you. Be civil. Uh, that's who we are pretty much in Iowa. Uh, the rest of the country could, should take notice of that, how we do it here. Young says he plans to relax today, have lunch with friends, and maybe watch a movie to take his mind off things before heading downtown this evening. Well, meanwhile, his opponent, Cindy Axney, cast her own ballot this morning in West Des Moines at Valley Evangelical Free Church. Axney was joined by her husband, John, at the polls and voters who want to shake her hand and say hello. Axney said she's encouraged by the strong early voter turnout. I think this is fantastic, uh, seeing so many of our community members, and I'm hearing across the district, people are coming out in droves. Last night when I called a friend who was waiting in line downtown, about 100 people deep after the office had closed. So I think people are inspired. People are ready to make sure that they've got a voice in Washington. Well, Axney will spend the day visiting Canvas staging locations to fire up volunteers before heading to her election night watch party. Now, if you haven't voted yet, you may have some questions. If you aren't sure where to vote, you can go to SOS.Iowa.gov to find your polling place. If you're not registered, Iowa is one of 17 states that offers election day registration. Bring a photo ID and proof of residency. You can go to VoterReadyIowa.org for more information. And once you get to the polls, workers are required to ask you for ID. If you don't have an ID and you're pre-registered, you can sign an oath of identity. And if you still have an absentee ballot that you haven't returned, you can turn it in at a polling place today. They did need to be postmarked by yesterday.